Okay, well, now that I remembered to hit the go live button, and YouTube is still not showing this up. Why? There we go. Now it showed up. So yeah, this is Christina Blackfeather, and um, I decided today we're going to do a little bit more painting. Um, working on another dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to catch up with Christmas stuff, you guys. That's just the way it is. Um, second hair is bothering me. There we go. Um, and then I have the painting, a little boy and his aunt. And then I'm kind of free for a bit. So uh, tonight, uh, Rumor Research Lab was doing her acrylic pours, and uh, she came up with one that she thought was pretty ugly, and it did have some weird colors in it, but um, I've been wanting to collaborate with her, and she's agreed to it, and I said I wanted that one because I see something in it, and, you know, it's just the way it is. So uh, that w might be my next project after I get these other paintings done. Otherwise, I have a... Uh, working model of a horse to do out of wood and um, a TARDIS out of metal and uh, Drogon and the Iron Throne out of metal and you know just fun things plus trying to get my art room organized and get back into resin work and my needle felting back out again and stuff so organized means I have to get tables set up and everything. I'm nowhere near. Uh, the art room is just uh, a big storage spot right at the moment, but uh, we're getting there. So let me pop over to the video. Okay, so yeah, we do have that. And yeah, I should have stuck that on on there, make sure I'm okay. Let's check that again. Yep, all right, good. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of wait a little bit here yet, see if we get any people coming in. But I thought I would share the picture of the dog I'm going to be doing. This is Corwin. He is now 10 years old. And, uh, yeah, he's just an absolute baby. And I love this water bottle picture. These are his favorite toys outside of Zuzu Pets. He loves Zuzu Pets. Um, so if anybody ever wants to donate Zuzu Pets, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you my address. <laughs> I mean, he just, he goes crazy for them. And... Um, I still can't believe he's 10 years old because he's always been a puppy. Um, the uh, needle filted Chiron that I did that heavy hauler has now, uh, his eyes were actually inspired by this dog. Um, Cause Corwin would get that sad puppy look like he's got in this picture. And I just think this picture is amazing. I absolutely love it. So that will be our, our dog for the day. So until people get in here, let's see what kind of goodies I can find. Oh. Sorry about that. I start yawning right away. That's horrible. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like YouTube's got a whole heck of a lot going on. Um. Uh huh. Yeah, sad guru saying if you do this and 50% of your health problems will go to go away. Go to bed hungry. Okay. Yeah, okay. Then all I'm going to do is be hungry and I'm not going to be able to get to sleep. Sorry. Just the way it is. Uh, skinny pigs. Oh, cool. Rover Research Lab is here, guys. That's awesome. I I am looking forward to what you send me. I think that's cool. 
I do like that one from tonight, though. That one is, I think it's cool. There's something there, and I already have an idea what I'm doing with it. So um, I was pretty happy with it. Um, it's it's weird, and it's going to work. And there's the doggy tonight. <laughs> you challenged me. <laughs> Yeah, they weren't terrible, and and rumor uh, that one too. I'm going to be doing the uh, one you did tonight. I'll be doing it on camera. It's going to be after I get this dog and uh, you know the next painting done, um, which I actually have the sketchbook here for the next painting. Yeah, this is Corwin. He is absolutely adorable. And this this is going to be a challenge because I want to do the water bottle. I got to do everything. This photo, I love this photo so much. But yeah, he's he is one cute dog. Um, let me get the other. This is a big piece of paper. I apologize. Get it off of the board I got here. I have a really large drawing board that. I can clip the sketchbook too so it stays in place and I can carry it around. <clears throat> and can I get it out? No, no, I can't. Try not to bind myself and everything. There. So this is going to be the next painting that I do. And um, I'm going to get Corwin done first. But this I had, ah, come back here. <laughs> I'd worked on this at work on break. And um, it's the same little boy I painted before. He was a lot younger in this picture. And, of course, the camera isn't doing, it took me a while. I got the proportions right and everything. But that's him with his aunt, and she's got lots of braids in her hair and everything. So that one's going to be fun. What have I got back in here? Oh, ugh. That one's ancient, and I ain't showing that. And then there was an old one in here that I never finished. This was all freehand pen. And I don't even remember what year I had been doing this. But the owl, everything was freehand just in a Sharpie uh, a fine point. So that's all that's on this tablet. And then I thought I'd show something kind of cool tonight. I've talked about it occasionally, but um, I haven't shown it before. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've never tried pouring paint. It just looks like such a messy job to me. <laughs> anyway, various live streams that I've been in with people over the years, and even last year, I've mentioned that uh, we do have a uh, Gladius here that we got from Angel's Sword, which they had done uh, weapons for uh, Mythbusters and stuff like that. Now, this thing needs to be polished back up again. So I apologize for some of the tarnish that's on it. It's been sitting, but this is a bronze gladius. And it is hand forged. And it is heavy. And I just wanted to show that off tonight because I haven't been able to really show this thing off. It's my husband's. These people also did this gorgeous long sword and e epona blade. It's just amazing, but that thing was so expensive. <laughs> there was no way I was getting that. That was like almost a $10,000 sword. Um, this one wasn't cheap either, but there's only three of these in existence, and we have one of them. Angel Sword has the other one, and I don't know who has the third. So, yeah, the Bronze Gladius is real. <laughs> And I just felt like showing that off tonight. 
because why not? Stick it back there behind the canvas. And thank you on the on the comment on the drawing. <laughs> um, and I'm also forewarning you guys that there, unfortunately, Balam is in heat again, and so occasionally there may be bits of nonstop brrr going on. And I apologize. It's at some point we're going to be able to afford to get the cats taken care of. Wraith is fixed, but the girls are not. Oh, yeah, hubby just said she's on a break. Don't wake it up. So I'm going to, first what I have to do with this canvas when I pan to it is I'm going to have to uh, still do some lining work on it. So it's going to look really messy and kind of um, non-professional for a while. But um, that will change as I continue on with it. I'm just going to get out my two go-to brushes. I'm going to cry when those brushes die. So just sorting those out. I probably should have sorted them out ahead of time if I'd have been thinking. But no. <laughs> you know, I can't think too much. Didn't do makeup tonight. My sinuses and my eyes are irritated, and so I wasn't going to do any. But I am wearing a Wonder Woman shirt. And I got the Wonder Woman mug of water. <laughs> and what we always have to do every painting live stream. Bob Ross, positive energy. When you need positive energy, you need Bob Ross. There. <laughs> yeah. I am also bad. I have a Mountain Dew Zero, which I've been working on for a day and a half or something. I just have to go really slow because it's tastes okay. But I thought, okay, well, maybe I'll get past the heartburn thing. Didn't happen. So I have Gatorade here too. Gatorade Zero. All right. So also, if anybody wants in the stream here, uh, I haven't done StreamYard for this month yet. So I have plenty of time on the free version. So yeah, um, a Five Below store actually has the Bob Ross drinks for $2, just so you know. But anyway, if anybody wants in to come and chat or whatever, I will post the link. Just let me know. So now it's just trying to adjust camera here. I apologize. It's a little crooked here. And so, yeah, this is just the rough outline. Um, I had done this outline in about, I don't know, it's like maybe 10 minutes of just roughly sketching with uh, the paint. And so I'm going to be continuing with that at first. And I'll be working on our little, little sweet goggy here. Now I'll get a drink here quick. I've been, I can't function without caffeine at all. I've tried. I've done, uh, I went a whole month, maybe a month and a half with no caffeine, and it just didn't happen. I didn't even think of what colors I was working with tonight. <sighs> Yeah, I thought the doing the actual painting process would be kind of fun. And I use a wide variety of paints. I use what I can find and what I can afford. And a lot of times at the thrift stores, I'll find like six or seven bottles for a bag in a bag for a dollar. So um, I get a lot of those. Not the most professional paints, I admit. But... Uh, they do the job. 
And I do have some more professional ones like the Windsor Newton Galleria acrylics I really like. Um, and as I can afford it, I'll be getting more of those. Well, let's see. What colors am I looking at? He is, there's still going to be a lot of browns in this picture. So I want to continue with the browns. Uh, that's a heritage brick. That's too red. I mean, I know I'm just doing the background sketching, but I still want the color layer to be appropriate. Oh, yeah, that's kind of the other thing that held me back with trying acrylic pouring is it does get very expensive and you know i already have supplies for like chain mail like this is a piece my husband made a number of years ago this is copper and aluminum um we have beads coming out the eyeballs uh i've got leather i have tooling equipment uh, i've got a sewing machine which i have to learn to use i i normally do everything by hand um i have stuff for making books you know so it's it that kind of kind of got me going and eh, i don't know <laughs> so i just didn't do it and that's okay <laughs> okay so i the one thing i gotta try and figure out i'm going to move the picture over of him over to where it's closer where i can see it I'm going to move StreamYard over here. There we go. And uh, what was that last one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really easy to get overrun really fast. Okay. Now, one thing I wanted to make sure... is a little his hair is a little pointier up here and I think what I really need to do is figure out the background color first I like to have a color that is different than the animal uh there's red in the bottle. Maybe I do need that terracotta color. Let's take a look. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of details in this piece. A finishing is the hard part because I get so scatterbrained that I just want to do like everything all at once and it's really hard it's really hard for me to deal with sometimes all right let's see what this terracotta looks like uh, it's not a color in the dog let's mix a little red in there I know I did forget to share this with the family. Should probably do that. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm I'm tired tonight and I'm disorganized. <laughs> I'm really disorganized. This and then on Grampy's Discord, I think. Here we go. All right. And get away from Facebook. I don't like Facebook. Uh, does it have me on Discord? I don't think I've had Discord on this computer.
Oh, I have. Look at that. All right. Fun Brigade live right now. Okay. There we go. All right. Get off of Discord. There. Better. Yeah, Facebook is the devil. <laughs> I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of Facebook. Okay, so let's throw. I want to kind of go away from the colors of the dog. But yes, still keep a certain tone to the canvas. Back into my brush holder again. Looks like the only big brush I have is the really big brush. Okay. I was glad I caught your stream earlier, though. I, I love watching the acrylic pouring. That was, that was fun to watch. And, of course, I had to go do real-life stuff, so, you know. There's a blanket back here, so I'm not too worried about it. Doesn't have to be accurate. Matter of fact, none of this does. Doggy fluff is going to cover it up later. And I don't worry about the edges of the canvas because I usually paint a bronze border on all the edges. That's kind of been my signature with these lately. And I like it. It just makes it so much cleaner and it's kind of fun because then you don't have to frame it. You just hang it up. Another color have I got to throw in there? That would look interesting. Fuchsia. No, no fuchsia. Ah. Give Corwin a hot pink. <laughs> Lemon yellow. Nah. Orangey orange. Grape it, eat grape. <laughs> I think I'm going to throw in some of the Espresso Metallic back here. Not much because that can get overwhelming and just like glitter in, in real life, which can get everywhere. The crafters herpes. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the monetization is gone. In fact, I think I can't monetize till after the stream's done anyway because of the way StreamYard works with YouTube. And once again, if anybody comes in and wants to uh, wants to join the stream to just sit and shoot shoot the breeze, that's fine. No, just no cutting the cheese. What did I do with it now? Yeah, my sleep schedule's all goofed up. And then they had given me tonight off, and an hour ago while I was in the middle of doing stuff, they called and texted me and asked if I wanted to come in. I was like, oh, come on. I had planned this. I had advertise that I was going to be doing this stream. I'm doing this stream doc on it. 
And then I think I'm going to throw some yellow in there, too. Told ya. Yellow? Lemon yellow. No, not lemon yellow. Oh, yeah. That's always something. Okay, I apologize here. I'm trying to get this open. My hands are very raw from the soap at work, so this kind of hurts. Doggone it, Troy. I need a brighter yellow. Stop it. Stop feeding me ideas. That sounds scary. Good Lord. Now, where is my brighter yellow? Uh, that's the burnt umber. I'm going to need that anyway. Here we go. And there is the cat for everybody to hear. <laughs> and I still have some of the metallic loaded on the brush, too, so it's picking up all the paint. Okay. Let me do some more over here. This is going to be a bunch of fabric hanging down right here. So let me pop him off the screen again quick. Uh, thought, it, thought it said to stop sharing the screen. What happened here? Yeah, my hands are pretty raw. They hurt. Now, normally, all the background objects I would do first. But I want to at least make sure that this time I get all these general shapes in the front done correctly. And then, um, then I'm going to do the bit of fabric and the fringe in the background there. And then work on the pillows and then start working on him. And this, this piece down here, this is under his fur, the thing he's laying on. So I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. I do like that little bit of metallic. I did one painting of a of a little boy, his father's from Italy, and his son was born. He was um, just small enough that he fit in his father's hand on his arm. So I did the painting of his dad holding him in that one arm. And I had to prep the canvas. I had um, antique sheet music glued on or Mod Podged on. I had tissue papers, uh, did the acid-free uh, treatment to all the papers. 
then uh, had painted in metallic paints, then Mod Podge then did the gluing to put leafing on it and then covered over that too and then painted the figure. So it looked like an Italian fresco on an old house. And uh, he just loved it. <laughs> of course, he's still got the painting. <laughs> but it it was a lot of work just prepping the canvas. It was so much fun, though. I absolutely loved that project. Yeah, metallics are kind of hard, though, because it's so easy to overdo them, <laughs> you know? I might have to do a switch over to a blue or a gray here so I can see my lines. Actually, yeah. Um, this technique that I'm kind of starting, start out with here. Now I go with a real small brush afterward. Um, use a very, come on, focus. Well, can't really focus too much, but you can see in proportion to my hand. Um, that'll be doing the canvas with, but this prep work, sometimes if you do like the drawing right on the canvas and do the light layer of light blue, and then start doing washes and then you do your details over it. Now, the washes part, I had talked to an artist who does the big eye fairy art. Um, her name is Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And um, she has a studio at Disney World, but uh, she works in really thin washes. And when I was trying to first figure out portrait painting, um, she uh, she emailed me and told me, you know, just keep working in absolutely small, uh, you know, wa thin washes of stuff. Um, here we go, strangeling.com. I'll share her quick. And the link. She's a fantastic artist. And I really enjoy her work. It's a little goth. So there's some of her stuff. And she works she works in acrylics and it's all just thin washes of color. I get a little too painterly for that, but I kind of try to do it somewhat at the start, but I can't get these smooth skin tones she gets in the style that I do. And she's been painting for like forever. She's got stuff for uh, um, uh, oh gosh, uh, Bradford Exchange and all sorts of other things. Hi, Mandy. Yeah, her stuff is really cool. So I'm going to switch to a sketching color here. This one's been kind of difficult for me because I haven't really been able to figure out what I wanted to do with this. Let's not make ghost dog. <laughs> uh, the bed is very good. Um, having the new mattress really makes a difference. <laughs> that 30-year-old mattress, its time was so much ready to 
just go. It was so bad. And I discovered your mom's uh, headboard on there that the lights still work on that headboard on both sides. Just on a whim, I had decided to uh, turn, try and turn them on and see what happened. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, it's working. Yeah, so for anybody who wants to know, when I got my divorce from my ex, um, I moved away and I was sleeping on a mattress on the floor. So Amanda's mom and dad gave me their old bed and it's, it's a king size and got a gorgeous headboard and everything on it, but it's been around a good long time. And, um, so the mattress was seriously overdue. I mean, really overdue. And since we had to move the bedroom anyway, so that my husband could actually sleep in the bed because he can't do the stairs anymore without a lot of help, um, we had to uh, move things. And so I got a new mattress, kept the headboard, kept the box spring. The box spring was good too. So his nose has got to come down a little bit more. Okay. This bottle is going to be a trip. I love this photo. I wanted to paint it. <laughs> Right now I'm making it a nightmare. Yeah, his nose is more rounded. He doesn't have a divot in there like an Arabian horse. <laughs> younger, the bed is younger than you. <laughs> This is going to be a challenge, too, because this is like one of my more most realistic portraits I'm trying to make. He has some of his skin folding over because he's leaning on the bottle. All the things. It I doesn't have a brand showing on the bottle, though, so that's okay. I have his paw up. No, his paw's in the right spot. So the bottle has to be up a little higher. Okay. And he's crushed part of the bottle, too. Milk jugs, bottles, Zuzu pets. He loves them all.
he's kind of really crushed this one. <laughs> Crazy dog. All right. So yeah, I don't have it exactly right as far as the proportions are concerned. But that's okay. I think it's going to work a lot better and still be recognizable, and that's what we want. Okay. That's where the one pillow is. His fur going up that way. He has fur going down this way. <laughs> he has fur. Yay, Springer Spaniels and all the fluff that comes with them. And he's got just the softest, silkiest ears you would ever want to pet. His ears are gorgeous. He's just a very pettable dog. Okay, so this here is actually line work on the pillow. So I want to get the detail of the pillow on there too. Okay. All right. Well, that's looking better than my initials, initial drawing. Not really. I advise anybody, if you get the chance, to actually draw with a camera on your work, even if you're not recording, so you can take a look at what the camera is showing you. Because it makes a huge difference. Okay. That's the way his hair is going that way. And that way. And he's also got light coming down from here. All right. Now I think I'm close enough. So, what other colors have I got here? <laughs> Chell. That's Chell, isn't it? Yeah. Nope, that's Blum. Ah, oh, the girls did it to me again. The two cats are so close to alike. Little yellow, darker brown. The only place really any black is being shown is on the dog. Okay. I'm also going to plunk some music on here too. Keep in mind some of it is pretty uh, weird. Because it's my Minecraft music. I still haven't fixed that. Is it? Ah! Wait a minute. Whoops. No, no. Stop. Stop. Uh, that will get me in trouble. 
Yeah. Not playing Omnia. There we go. No, what the heck? Stop. Stop. Oh my God. No. I'm going to get so demonetized. It's not even funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry, YouTube gods. That was not intentional. And I'm sure people are going to be going copyright claiming crazy on me on that one. Okay. So it should be Minecraft music. Select folder. There. That's better. Oh my gosh. All right. The picture of Corwin back up. The only thing I don't like is I have his eyes. I'm going to redo that. I don't like that. Just don't like that. They need to come down more. Because he's actually looking down with his eyes going up. And that is just in the wrong spot completely. Haha, ha, you're so funny. And then that one was up higher. Okay, that looks better. A little too high up here. Let's see if I got them down far enough. Scrub that out. Right now I'm just trying to go through colors to be able to see where I'm going here. So that's going to bug the crap out of me. Even though I'm not working on that part yet, that is just going to bug the dickens out of me. So I had them at the wrong angle and everything. Normally that's where I start is the eyes. Once I get the background part done. Okay, that's looking better. That's better. That's better. Okay, that's better. That just was not coming out right. And then, of course, his white is going to go there. And the other batch of white. So his blaze is down the center. Okay, that. Hard for you guys to see, but I I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I promise. Oh, come on. Now I can't get the paint separated. If it a rumor research lab can can testify to this. If it isn't one thing, it's another. <laughs> Okay, and I need the pale brown. I 
This is for the blanket in the background there. And a little bit of the yellow ochre. All right. So what I did with the white here is I'm actually making my own cream color. And this will make sense eventually. <laughs> And most of the time I do the preliminary sketching on paper. So this is, this isn't a, something I do a lot, drawing directly on the canvas in paint. But then I've seen other professional artists that are saying, you know, you don't draw ahead of time, just paint onto the canvas. So I don't know. And Mudbrooker's dog, I laid base coats down for color. I don't know if I'm going to do that here because he's just got so much color in his coat. Because he is brindle. So it's going to be kind of hard to figure out exactly what base coat to put down. So I'm just going with it. As I work in an area, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. A little bit of the yellow. So there's also patterns in this because it's a crocheted afghan this is one of my pieces of music for building in the nether <laughs> in minecraft it's kind of creepy and scary I don't want too much detail back here either. Just hints that it's been crocheted. So I'm doing a little wet on wet back here. So all the details going to be on Corwin himself.
Since I add the fringes, you'll be able to see that it's a blanket a lot easier. Right now, it just looks like a patch of the same color as uh, a giant suburban. If you're old enough to remember the snot-colored <laughs> Suburbans, these massive, massive cars, well, SUVs, you could fit like 12 people in the things. And they were Vaseline or snot-colored. Why they thought that was a good color for a vehicle, I don't know. But it wasn't. And I can't zoom the camera in, and I apologize for that, but it's a webcam, so. A little more white. Plan on streaming Stardew Valley again sometime in the morning. I don't know when. Depends on when I sleep and wake up. So now they got the expanded pack going. I just had so much fun on the last stream. Let me take some liberty with this and stretch it out. So it looks a little more like fabric. Okay, and now I need a little of the darker stuff. That's actually more gray. So do a teeny bit of gold black here. Teeny bit, come on, coming out of there. That container, the paint's getting gelatinous in there, so that's going to end up going bye-bye pretty soon. Over to the white. There we go.
You know, instead of detail, it's about creating an illusion. I actually kind of like this red and the yellows and the metallic in here. It's kind of royal. Oh my God. I just, I'm going to give this dog a big head. He's already a spoiled boy. Okay. All right, so now I got to do the fringes hanging down. Well, those don't have to be exactly accurate, do they? My sister-in-law is the one who took this photo. She is a photographer. And she's also does uh, genealogy for the historical society. And she's a bit of a political historian, professional-wise, unlike some other people who say that they're a historian and uh, a constitutional scholar and all of that stuff. She actually is. And she she took the pictures for our wedding and she is just absolutely mind-blowing with photography. And that looks like fringes in the background. Okay. Hi, Deb. Thank you. Oh, the pillow in the picture is going up this way and that way. Okay. So I have to kind of switch color here. Getting some of the texture on the pillow is going to be a blast. I think I'm going to be faking that too. If I do the background impressionistic. I 
think that'll work the best. Okay. Actually, that doesn't look like the same pillow back there. This one's good. This side here has a little bit more red in it on the photo, or kind of a purple. Time to add another color to my palette here. Actually, making some progress. Share so Deb can see the actual dog. So there he is. That's our car win. So yeah, a lot of this is going to be pretty impressionistic here. I'm not doing the full detail because I'd be spending forever on it. I want all the detail to be on Corwin himself. But some colors I want to remain true to. Because I love colors and I love the brightness and yeah, colors are just a thing. Not that purple, though. Oh, my goodness. That would be kind of terrifying. Oh, <laughs> found a piece of slate that I got to resin and paint on yet. And if I resin, it's going to fill in all those holes. And this is going to be an altar tile, I think, that I'll be putting up for sale. I have a bunch of these pieces. But I wasn't expecting it in my bag with my paints. <laughs> yeah, that actually works. I ended up not needing this lamp tonight. That's a lamp right here. Another ot light. And then the lamp I had upstairs, the brightly colored one, bit the dust. The uh, ceramic base under the metal shattered, so the thing wouldn't stand anymore. So I ended up tossing that. So I took the ot bulbs out of it. Startling Minecraft music. And um, if I get... Uh, another lamp stand. I'll stick those odd bulbs in there too. So I will have daylight all over the place. Let's see if I try this one, if that's going to give me any improvement. Okay. Now the odd lamps are not cheap. And I have two of them right here. They're pretty expensive. But for my art room, I want to get one more that is a stand lamp. And I think if I just find a multi-headed stand lamp, I can uh, put those bulbs in it. And then have that right where I need it. Okay. So there was a little more white... here
looks also I had a little bit of reddish in here too. Not much. It was just a hint. So we're going to do that. And yeah, I'm just faking this. There was a little bit of purple back here. Okay. Oh, and all the music I have on this playlist is in the description. I hope I don't get dinged for the few seconds of Omnia there, doggone it. I'm not worrying about texturing on this pillow too much. I'm going to do just a hint of the purple back here too. So I didn't quite like that brown. Okay, that's better. Now this is one of those uh, tapestry type pillows, you know, where the stitching is really rough and there's a scene on it. And I just don't feel like futzing with it with that much detail. But there's a lot of purple in the pillow, which works out well with the reds and stuff. It's looking really, really decent. Even on camera, this is looking pretty good. There's a little brown in here too. I will fake some stitching though once I get these colors blocked in. To take a smaller brush and go through and fake some of the stitching. Throw some more brown in there, a little bit of red. And 
not exactly mom's pillow, but oh well. Okay, and then I gotta add a darker blue in there, blue gray. Ah. A lot more colors in this painting than the last one. Okay, there goes another layer of brown. Looks like this tapestry pillow has a hunting dog. Yeah, because there's a bird right here. Yep, this is a hunting dog pillow.
Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to do the tap, some of the tapestry stitching in this so you can actually tell what it is. Kind of hard to tell. Which fits for him because he is kind of a hunting dog, although they're also springers are herding dogs too. Not really sure what that is. Might be a bird there. Hard to tell. Hey, Sadie, thank you. Yeah, he's just, he is one of the cutest dogs. That's him. He's adorbs. And he's an absolute sweetie pie. I've known this boy since he was a puppy, and he's 10 now, which is just mind-blowing. So I'm laying in the background tonight at least, and uh, see where I go from there. But this is one of those crazy stitched pillows that, you know, has a tapestry stitching on it. So I'm going to have to lay texture over top of this once I get the base colors in. So I did it to myself. I picked this photo to paint. <laughs> But I'm really trying to figure out on this pillow. It's supposed to be a hunting dog. I think this is a bird. Can't see the bird's head. And the dog is pointing the other direction. Oh, it wasn't bad. My arm hurt for a day. But it didn't bother me at all.
and they're they're so practiced at giving them that I didn't even feel it and there I didn't even bleed there was like nothing so it it went pretty well Uh, I think I'm running out of white hair. I have a feeling I don't like these tapestry pillows. Not for painting. Now uh, one of the weirdest weirder pieces of music here. <laughs> well, might as well get that dog in here. Get that dog in here. Why is the dog pointing a different direction than the bird behind him? This means this is a dumb hunting dog. The one on the pillow. He not smart. And yeah, this is some of my Minecraft music, so it's a little creepy. This one is. I made the dog look more like a cow, but that's okay. Oh, work is going pretty good, too. Um, I missed a lot of shifts because we had people that got sick and were in the hospital and everything else for various things. Um, and so they had too many nurses for a while. So I ended up getting more days off than I wanted. And then they had called me in to come in tonight after they had told me I had tonight off. So I'd already made plans and I'm like, uh, I made plans guys. So I'm still off because I really have not slept very well. And it's like, I really just needed to have tonight off. So yeah, work is going okay. Not bad. I goofed that up. That was supposed to be brown right there. Let's fix that.
There's going to be shadow right in here. So let's start adding that. Okay, that's better. Um, how's hubby doing? He's he's doing okay. Just having a nap here right now. He tends to do that when I'm live streaming. Says it relaxes him quite a bit, which I hear from a lot of people, honestly. <laughs> okay, so here. Yeah, I'm going to have to do more detail on this than I wanted to to make this look like a tapestry. Oh, you guys really can't see where I'm working right at the moment here. Okay, there we go. Not that I'm doing a whole lot right there. Just laying in color. Uh, take a screen cleaner to it. No, the dog actually looks like a dog on camera. Nice. Uh, the little one here. Yeah. Uh. You have any luck with like head, head and shoulders or anything like that?
come to the conclusion I despise this pillow. <laughs> Gotta be one thing I dislike painting on every stream. Because the problem is, is it's going to hit my perfectionism here. And I'm going to want to make it look exactly like a tapestry. And if I do that, I'll be spending years on this painting. I want to keep the loose style in the background, but there's some things that just have to be done to this. <laughs> it's like, it's going to drive me crazy. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, we we try to be friendly. Working on the pillow. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Chell. What you doing? What you doing, Mush? Huh? I don't know how I'm going to make this look any more like a tapestry or if it's just going to be a painting in the background. Not quite sure where I'm going with that because this is actually doing the pillow is kind of a difficult object to do. Because I don't want to go crazy on the texture, but there are textures all over the place on this darn thing. I think if I hint. Yeah, if I hint at fabric, do some cross hatching. That'll give it more of a feel of fabric. Without doing a boat ton of uh, detail. Yeah, yeah, I'll be happier with that. Oh, yeah, I don't use the white whitening toothpaste because they actually will damage your enamel. I use the crest sensitive with the gum protection and stuff in it because that works a lot better.
Okay, that is looking a lot better. Okay. It actually does not look that bad on camera. It looks like an actual scene. I got the lighting and stuff pretty decent. What you doing, Chell? Huh? I have a cat behind the behind the uh, stand here. Oh yeah, that's part of why I don't like it. Oh yeah, I got the original photo here too. Uh, right there. Yes. Yeah, cross hatching kind of fixes <laughs> all sorts of things if you're dealing with fabric. Even just hinting at the cross hatching like I'm doing. So I don't want to have all the detail in the background and then, you know, you're missing what's going to be here in the foreground. Oh, he's such a cute boy. He's a cute doggy. And so incredibly spoiled. painterly style in the background. That's what my mom used to call it. Well, still does. You coming on camera, Chill? No, you're just shaking the whole thing. Of course. What? Oh, 
no sweet mush. Hmm? No good mush. Yeah, especially when good for hiding a multitude of sins when you're dealing with textures you really dislike. <laughs> Of course, nobody expected I was going to try to paint this. <laughs> there we go. And this is all looks like grass down here. I'll go back and throw some cross hatching in here too. But. You have to shake everything back there, Chell. Huh? You just want to be with mommy. You're as spoiled as this dog. Yeah. You're as spoiled as the dog. <laughs> you can come out. Well, you guys can't really see her, but there was a shadow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Cindy's my sister-in-law and she helps with with doing image editing and everything else cuz that's her specialty. And she's also an artist and does a lot of my little pony repaints and re-sculpts and everything lately, so she's found where she's having fun. And yeah, so we're Kind of an artistic family all the way around. Oh, yeah, this texture up here is just evil. I ain't going that far. So what she says about the dog on the couch is true. They got this pretty little love seat just for the dog. I actually like that. I mean, it's very abstract compared to what the pillow itself is. But I kind of like it. On camera, this is looking actually pretty decent. OK. 
Okay, then I gotta do some more of the darker stuff down here. <laughs> Hi, Chell. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> There, see, she had to approve of the color I was using. I am definitely faking it down here because there's just so much. Oh, I was glad the cat made an appearance. I probably could have made it easier on myself and just done a plain pillow, but no. I have to do it the hard way. No, I can do a tapestry pillow, no problem. Try painting a tapestry pi pillow. It's fun, she said. That actually looks pretty decent, though. <laughs> I think it came out pretty decent. It's it's very abstract compared to the original. Trying to blend that in a little bit because it actually is the same pillow, just a fold in it. And I don't. There. Okay. A blanket in the back looks good. That came out really decent. So, Cindy, what's going on here is there is metallic in the background in the reds and the yellows. There's a little bit of bron uh, kind of a bronze metallic up in here. And I just went with that one blanket. I just tried to you know, just hint at it. And I think that came out pretty decent. Yeah. 
Well, you know me, I like vibrant colors. So I think this, this is pretty vibrant. I might still have to go through and add this texture again later. I work on it some more. But I think what I'm going to do is drive myself crazy tonight if I try to do more of it. <laughs> but the dog down here actually turned out good. Although I said earlier on camera, the bird is here. Why is the dog facing the other way? This is a dumb hunting dog. <laughs> At least I assume this is a bird over here. I really couldn't tell. <laughs> but the, the hunting dog on the pillow is not a smart dog. He's flushed the bird out. The bird's the other direction. There was a little more shadow there I had to do. Oh, this this is a pheasant? Well, it's buried under Corwin. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about what the heck that bird is. It's buried under Corwin. So now I got to work on some getting some shadow under here. I think I'm going to keep the purples in the shadow because I want it to be a different color than well, I mean his paws white, so that doesn't matter, but I don't want it to blend in too much with him. And of course, you know, his paw is going to be overlaying all of this, so that doesn't matter too much. But yeah, this texture is just evil. And I didn't get the shape exactly right either on a lot of this. But We'll be able to definitely tell it's him. All right. The eyes are what's worrying me because it's like once I start on the eyes, there's, there is no turning back. All right, night, Cindy. Hi, planet. Uh, I'm at least going to see if I can get the eye outline right here. Probably not.
Make sure I get those sad puppy dog eyes in. But at least if I get the majority of this done tonight, or, you know, this part of his eyes done tonight, I think that'll make a difference. And painting for two hours. Yeah. Steam is kind of. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. This eye back here is crazy because of the angle. The angle in the photo, the way he's looking, the back eye always has a different shape than the one in the front. Okay. Oh, geez. I'm getting it. Yeah, in this canvas, uh, Planet or anybody else is coming in. I did all the drawing on the canvas. I didn't do any ahead of time. So it it can look a little messy right now. And the background is kind of betraying what I'm going to do because I'm going to try to get the dog here as realistic as possible. But I think uh, I'm starting to get a bit of a sinus headache here again. So I think I'm going to probably call this. There's a good amount of painting in two hours. Um, so next weekend, I'm going to give it another go. And we'll get to working on him. And the first thing I'm going to get done is these eyes. Because I do have them, according to what I'm seeing on the camera, they're actually in the right spot, too. So I may have to widen them a little bit more because he's actually showing an awful lot of the white pink there, as you can see. But it actually does look right. So... Still think the water bottle is going to be the hardest part. That water bottle there is going to be something else. So yeah, that's uh, yeah this thing right here, <laughs> and I've got to make his paw a little bigger too. It looks like he's got some some substantial feet. So yep, there we go. There is our start of our Springer Spaniel for tonight. So I hope you guys had a good time and I hope to see you again at some point and I'm planning on streaming Stardew tomorrow. So everybody have a fantastic night. Blessed be and take care.